Good evening and welcome inside the Finneran Pavilion where tonight the number eight ranked Villanova Wildcats take on Michigan Wolverines in a rematch of the 2018 National Championship game that Villanova won 79-62 in April in San Antonio. It seemed like it was only a moment ago when the Wildcats were facing off with Michigan in the Final Four, trying to complete an amazing run of self-improvement, which began before the NCAA tournament ever started. We, we weren't where we needed to be during that Big East tournament time, um, and we knew that, but we just wanted to go out there, win as many games as possible to give us another day to practice. So if we were getting to practice more, we are getting to develop better habits. And uh, the more we got to win, the more practices we got. So that's, we just saw ourselves getting better, and we were getting better into the tournament. We weren't where we needed to be until the tournament started. DiVincenzo, bounce pass, a beautiful one to Bridges running the court. We would watch film from those games and see what we could prove on, and we see where we got better at, and then we would try to perfect everything we did. So just take little pieces by pieces and make uh, bigger steps each each game and each practice. And that's what we did going from Bradford to Alabama to then uh, West Virginia, Texas Tech, all the way up to Michigan. So we kind of kept that same approach. It's just pure leadership, character, a lot of talent, a lot of talent. But talent can be beaten down by by ego, selfishness, you guys, just, you just don't have it, man. You got so much character. I'm, I'm just so proud of you. Can't be happier for a better group of guys. Be proud of this, man. Booth gets a wide open three, and it's a swish from the right wing. Villanova has now made 18 threes in this contest. Our team was like so locked in every every day that it felt like we we had like 10 more games to play. We always want each team to be the best team they can be and play their best basketball at the end of the season. It rarely does it happen that way, but to see those guys playing at their highest level in the last game of the year, and, and even having the feeling that if we could come back and practice again, we get even better. For a coach, that is Nirvana. And his dunk is blocked by DiVincenzo. I just kept being aggressive and, and started the second half. I, I missed a couple shots and, and coach told me in the timeout, he said, keep letting them fly. He said, keep being aggressive. And we were, Jalen was in foul trouble. Uh, so playmaking wise, I had to be more aggressive. And that just, my confidence just was through the roof at that point. And then I got it going again. And then I just didn't look back. DiVincenzo on fire in San Antonio tonight! There's nothing better for a coach than to be on the court with his team and watching them just perform at their highest level and as close to perfection as possible for them. The team always has their ups and downs, but we, we came together, we played for each other, and it was just great. I mean, it just meant a lot to me because like this team, that team worked so hard to, to get there and tried every day to get better, and we did. Down to two, down to one. Time expires. Villanova has won their third national championship in school history. Cats win it all. Cats win it all. Cats win it all again. You gotta love it. Those guys laid the way for us, uh, what they've done in the past. I mean, Josh Hart came up there uh, as he won a championship with him in 2016. And Kyle uh, did some great things here. His team went to Elite Eight one year. You know, Tim Thomas, there's a lot of great players that won here. And, done so much for the program, so it's great to appreciate them and see them up there with us, because they're just as much part of it as we are. And Josh Hart, Chris Jenkins, Arch, they were so much a part of it. They knew they were. So it was, it was us being together was enjoyable, but seeing that they knew that they were a big part of that meant a lot to me. Um, some of those pictures are my favorite pictures of all time, having all those generations up there feeling a part of that national championship. The NABC had the idea, because they have their convention always at the Final Four, to have a special trophy presentation on the Riverwalk. So it was the first time it was ever done. So when they came to us after all of our celebration, being in a locker room, all the media, and telling us we're gonna do this, we were all deflated. We were, we were tired, we thought, let's, we just wanna go back to the hotel, be with our families. 
So the bus drops us off on the boats, and it's dark, and it's quiet, and we're, we're kind of relaxed and enjoying being together, but we're tired. And we're thinking, like, what, what are we doing? And then we come into, under the bridge, and the lights are bright, and the Nova Nation singing, and music's playing, and you see everybody hanging from the hotel uh, rooms, and it was exhilarating. It is indescribable, like your team accomplishes something. I'm speechless right now, still thinking about it. <laughs> it was definitely the, one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life, period. Coming down that river walk and looking at Villanova students hanging out of trees over top of the water, hanging off of bridges and, and chanting and singing. And then the final piece where we, we got into an amphitheater on the water, where we were across the water from the, from the seating, it was, it was awesome. I don't even know if, if I could fully grasp the concept that we were out there doing parades in Philadelphia twice in three years. It's exciting, you know, you can't really be prepared for it. How many people are there going all the way down the Market Street? It's just uh, amazing uh, how much love there is. Uh, you kind of just sit there and just smile and wave and kind of get to live in the moment again. And I'm actually seeing kids that I went to grade school and high school with and, and parents of the kids I played AAU with. So I'm sitting here thinking, wow, like, it's insane that I'm on this bus right now and I've, I know these kids down here, they're, they're out here for us, cheering for us. Words can't really describe what it means and, and what type of moment that is. You have to actually be in it. We had just done it, the Eagles had just done it. I kind of felt like, all right, this is what we do in Philly now. This is, this is a new, new happening and we're good at it. The first one was just magical because every step of the way, was a surprise. This one was really heartwarming. You could just feel the love, the respect of the Philadelphia basketball community, the Nova Nation. It was definitely a different experience than the first one. Inside Villanova Basketball with Jay Wright, presented by Land Rover Jaguar Main Live, is also brought to you by Ford. Check out the Ford F-150 at your local Ford store today.